This is what a lot of people came to see is Ben Joyce, the hardest thrower in the world. How about that? 26th appearance he is making, 28 and two-thirds, 47 punch-outs. Ian Matos stares down the barrel of 102. 354 pitches this year for Joyce. And better than 100. Now 356 with his first two here. Among all the pitches tracked in college baseball, Division I, the rest of the country, 101 such pitches, and Joyce now has 357 of them. His one two. Oh. Two and two. Carter Plutz do up. He's already got a home run. And he'll face a fireballer, Ben Joyce, whose first pitch is 102. Very few pitchers make you wait to see what the banner says in the top left of pitch velocity. This is one of them. That was September of 2010. You can almost see the vapor trail, 102. His guns are going to be hot. 101. And there's a swing and a miss at 103. And a fastball on the hands at 102. Mentioned earlier in the game that these fighting Irish hitters have faced this entire Tennessee staff, or at least the prominent pitchers in the staff, already this season via virtual reality. What do you think 102 looks like VR? No, I didn't, Tom. I actually had one that had the ear flap on the on the right ear, which you would if you're a left-handed hitter. Which offers less protection that way, Kyle. It does. It looks a little strange too. Jordan Beck handles it, and Lamana is retired. One down. A real major leaguer. Prizer found territory for Lipsius, and he couldn't quite reach it. Lamana, you could see the hitter before, man. You've got to get those hands going so early because you're dialing up for a well, fastball that's well over 100 miles an hour. Jared Miller back to the left side now. That's where his home run came from in the second. And he bounces one up the middle. Not going. Snap throw back to first. Great thrower. Not terrible, but it's not great. But the other is because. And for a strike three and one. Swing at that one in the turf. Wow, huge lead at second for Miller. And a check swing. It's ball four. This pitch to strike. Fastball. And there he goes. Pitches a swing and a miss. And he'll see the stolen base. Runner for first break. Swing and a miss. So they don't mind the stolen base because they end up with the strikeout. There will be lingering effects from both ejections that we just saw a moment ago. Carries ejection from the present contest plus a one game suspension. We're reset the postseason. <laughs> reset button. T.J. Williams pitch, pitch running, excuse me, for Notre Dame. And what a night. Tennessee came in. He wants to play himself off of the position player side when he gets into Pro Bowl. Plutch with a two-run home run in the first inning. And he goes down swinging a 101. Uh, your SEC pitcher of the year. Runner goes, pitches a strike, throw down to second. It is in time. And a caught stealing to end the inning. The rule matrix of uh, college baseball. They'll each have to sit out tomorrow and clear through the mess after the game. One two to Ziska. But holds like this tomorrow, so and you're bringing him off the that's bench. That's who you bring off the bench to replace your four hole hitter. Let's take a conversation. Did you see what the Angels did the other night? No. Sent everybody to the plate with their walk up song was a nickelback song. I didn't see the follow up. Yeah, do something different or another version. We finally made a rule. 
to short and Lawson takes care of his counterpart. Eight runs within this team at the plate only has four hits. Instead of a three run home run it turns into a sack fly. The inning would end a batter later. Runners moving here and this ball is caught. What a play by Stevenson who moved over to center field for Gilbert. And it saved at least one run.